Ever seen a prison with a sauna, a jacuzzi, and even a pool to relax? Get ready to be shocked at the way some prisoners are living their lavish prison lives. Back in 2010, a camera crew surprised an Indonesian prisoner and recorded something shocking, causing an international scandal. And at the center of this scandal was Arita Soriana. So, who was she? Arita Soriana was a wealthy businesswoman and was sentenced to five years in prison for bribing a government official. But even behind bars, Arita used her wealth to make her life as comfortable as possible, continuing her corrupt ways by bribing the prison warden and guards. But what was fascinating about her imprisonment was that Arita's cell was transformed from a grimy prison room into a luxurious space. When a local TV station received the tip-off, they decided to investigate and were astonished by Arita's lavish lifestyle. Her 61 square feet cell looked like a five-star hotel suite, complete with a flat screen TV, a king-size bed, a private bathroom, and even a karaoke machine. Arita also had three maids, unlimited visitors, and regular visits from hairdressers and beauticians for beauty treatments. The video of Arita's luxurious prison life upset many Indonesians who were angry about the special treatment she got. But the reality is that Arita's case is just one example of how some prisons give a lavish life to certain inmates. So, if you're curious about the luxurious prisons that exist in the world, then let us tell you all about it. First, let's talk about Bastoy Prison in Norway. This unique facility is located on an island, accessible only by ferry managed by the prisoners themselves. Bastoy is more like a community than a prison, offering prisoners the chance to live in shared apartments, enjoy scenic walks by the sea, and even swim in the beautiful waters. Inmates live in small houses, work, and have free time for activities like fishing and swimming. This approach helps them feel like people rather than just prisoners. The prison's method has led to the lowest reoffending rate in Europe. There are no high walls or barbed wires, and prisoners are given responsibilities and trust. Each day, they receive a meal in the dining hall and money to buy food for lunch and dinner from the island store. Prisoners also earn a daily wage for their work, and they have plenty of free time to fish, swim, and relax. It sounds like a good place for a vacation, doesn't it? Next, we have Senang Prison in Indonesia. While most prisoners in Indonesia have to suffer harsh conditions, billionaire playboy Tommy Saha enjoys a life of luxury in Senang Prison. As the youngest son of a former Indonesian dictator, Tommy used his family's wealth and influence to transform his cell into a comfortable living space with air conditioning, a TV, and even a view of a garden. He was allowed to use a helicopter for outings and had a cell with a bedroom, a bathroom, and an entrance hall, complete with expensive amenities and a beautiful view. This is crazy, but it's not even the most luxurious prison on our list. Halden Fengsel in Norway is known as the world's most humane and maximum security prison. The facility was designed to feel more like a treatment than a punishment, with a focus on nature and comfort. Each prisoner has a private cell with a mini fridge, a flat screen TV, and a private bathroom. The prison also has no bars on the windows, allowing plenty of natural light. Guards do not carry weapons and often interact with inmates through sports and other activities. Halden Fengsel emphasizes human rights and respect, making it a sought after location for wealthy inmates. Next one is a prison built by the drug lord himself. La Catedral in Colombia is an extraordinary prison. Built by notorious drug lord Pablo Escobar, the prison was more like a mansion, complete with a kitchen, a gym, a soccer field, and even a disco. Located on the foggy mountainside near Medellin, this fortress was more about keeping Escobar's enemies out than keeping him in. With amenities like a football field, jacuzzi, waterfall, and many other comforts, it was aptly nicknamed Hotel Escobar and Club Medellin. In the early 1990s, notorious Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar agreed to serve a prison sentence on his own terms, which led to the creation of La Catedral, a luxurious prison which he designed himself. The Colombian government had a hard time prosecuting Pablo Escobar because he was popular with some people. While many hated the violence he caused, others remembered his charity work in Medellin. On July the 19th, 1991, Escobar was taken to La Catedral, his self-built prison on a mountaintop. The prison looked normal from the outside, but was luxurious inside. La Catedral had much more than a typical prison. A gym, sauna, jacuzzi, and even a pool with a waterfall. It even had outdoor sports facilities where the Colombian national team played. Inside, there was an industrial kitchen, a billiards room, several bars with big screen TVs, and a disco where Escobar hosted wedding receptions. Any guesses on what Escobar ate while in prison? During his time there, Escobar enjoyed gourmet meals like stuffed turkey, caviar, fresh salmon, and smoked trout, all while being entertained by beauty queens. The luxury of La Catedral showed Escobar's prison conditions were far from standard. Next up, here is Aranjuez Prison in Spain. This prison offers a unique approach, allowing families to stay together. In this facility, parents who are both convicted criminals can live with their young children in family cells. 
Aranjuan Prison in Spain is unique because it offers special family cells, designed to accommodate parents who are inmates and their young children. These five-star cells come with cribs, walls decorated in Disney characters, and access to a prison playground. The goal is to allow children to bond with their jailed parents and to teach inmates parenting skills as part of their rehabilitation. Spanish officials say Aranjuaz is the only prison in the world with such facilities. The idea is to let children spend more time with their parents while they're too young to fully understand the reality of prison life. Currently, 32 children live in the prison, with some families having two toddlers. Although the situation isn't ideal, both the prison psychologist and the parents believe this arrangement is better than separating families. Every day, a guard wakes the families up at dawn for a roll call, and then they're locked up again till 9pm. The children spend their days playing with the others in the prison, enjoying the child-oriented environment. Aranjuez Prison started operating family cells in 1998 and now has 36 such units, although only 16 are currently occupied. Most of these families are Latin American immigrants who have no one else to look after their children. Next one is another prison from Colombia. La Picota Prison in Colombia housed former Senator Juan Carlos Martinez, who continued to live a luxury lifestyle even behind bars. Martinez threw extravagant parties, smuggled luxury items, and expanded his cell to create more space. Public outrage eventually led to his transfer to a less accommodating prison. Recently, Colombian authorities recently took back part of La Picota Prison in Bogota because some rich inmates were living like they were in a fancy hotel. The prison guards had to break windows and use a locksmith to open the cells because prisoners had their own keys and wouldn't open the doors. Despite this, prisoners still have things like hairdressers and a massage parlor, which shows that there is unfairness and corruption in Colombia's prisons. Our last luxurious prison that takes us to Austria. This prison is called the Justice Center Leoben, and it treats inmates very nicely. Each prisoner has their own room with a TV, a bathroom, and a small kitchen. The prison also has a nice gym and a basketball court to help prisoners stay healthy and happy. In most prisons, people who break the law stay in small, plain rooms. But at Justice Center Leoben, each person has their own room with a bathroom, a small kitchen to cook food, and even a TV to watch shows. There's a big window in each room so they can see outside. This prison has cool things to do, just like a fancy hotel. There's a basketball court where people can play, an outdoor gym where they can exercise, and open spaces where they can walk and talk with each other. There's even a spa where they can relax. Only people who have done small, non-violent crimes like stealing or breaking some rules stay there. The idea is to give these people a comfortable place so that they can think about what they did wrong and hopefully decide to do better in the future. An architect named Joseph Hohessen designed this prison. The prison also has a part where court trials happen, so some people come here for all legal reasons too. The Justice Center Leoben has been around for 18 years, and many people are amazed about how it looks. What are your thoughts on these luxurious prisons? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more.